Abdullah Al Baraduni was born in 1929 in Yemen at a time when Yemen was occupied by the British. At the age of five, he lost his eyesight after suffering from smallpox. Despite losing his sight, he was extremely enthusiastic about seeking knowledge and developed an interest in journalism and poetry. In 1948, Al-Baraduni was arrested and imprisoned by British authorities after he published a poem calling for revolution against the British. Abdullah al-Baraduni also wrote many books on the ancient and Islamic history of Yemen in order to remind Yemenis of their glorious past. After being released from prison, Abdullah al-Baraduni moved to Sana'a in northern Yemen, which was ruled by the monarchy of King Ahmed bin Yahya. During this period, he worked as a host at the Sana'a radio station. And in 1960, he was arrested for a second time for speaking out against the monarchy. He wrote the following poem. Slaves of desire rule the country, and they are all ruled by money, and driven by a lust that never sleeps, and they are asleep in their ignorance. There is an oppressor on every side who is ruled by another oppressor. Whoever has satisfied their appetite with the hunger of our children are you not full? In 1969, Abdullah Al Baraduni became the editor of the Al Jaish magazine, and in 1970, he founded the Union of Yemeni Authors and Writers in order to give a voice to Yemeni intellectuals. Even after Yemen became free from British colonialism and became a united republic in 1990, Abdullah al-Baraduni continued to use his poetry to speak out against injustice. He spoke out against President Ali Abdullah Saleh, who was silencing his political opponents. Therefore, Abdullah al-Baraduni was marginalized by the government of Ali Abdullah Saleh, and he was prevented from publishing books. Abdullah al-Baraduni passed away in August 1999.